around normal spaces and it's a quick lecture we can just introduce some theorem that determines when is a space is a normal space okay so first the theorem is that every regular space with capital bases is normal so the proof is that given a regular space the capital bases are given two disjoint closed subset now for each point in a we have a neighborhood that does not intersect b because we're given that it's regular right? so we use the regularity remember we have a lemma that we can pick a neighborhood v of x such that the closure is contained in u and we pick in bases in v right that contains in v so we do this for each x and a so we have a countable carving of a say u n now we know that each closure of u n is disjoint with b and also by symmetry, we can do the same thing for the set B, such that we get a countable covering for B, such that its closure in a sec A gives you back the empty set. Now we just let U be the union of the UNs, V be the union of VNs, then we know that they contain A and B. But notice that they do not to be disjoint, right? So we want to make them to be disjoint. So for any n, we define u prime n to be this set, and v prime m to be this set. Now each u prime n is open because with this, we have this. Well, it's closed, right? Because it gives you this. This is a closed set, and this is also a closed set, right? And also for v prime n, right, we can do the same thing. It is also open. And we have this covers a because for each x and a, x and some u n. And we also know that this is true, which means that we have x's in u in prime, right, by our definition. And also the set of v prime n. And for these two sets, they're disjoint. Because if x is in u prime n is like v prime, the x is on u v, u prime j and v k j, I mean u prime j and v prime k. So we argue these three cases and they all give a contradiction, right, so they're disjoint, okay? So we move on to the case of metrizable space are normal. So given x close sets a and b for each a we can pick a ball and for b we can pick also a ball. Right? Now we like you denote the union of all we just have their radius. Right? We just have their radius and we show that u v are disjoint if one of them is in between then this is by triangle inequality and we have this if so in either cases we have these two cases but now notice that here gives that a is in the ball and here gives that b is in the ball which is both gives a contradiction right so they're disjoint okay so we're done and lastly is that every compact hall floor space is normal so we already know that x is regular right because if x is not in b b is closed we know that b is compact then we know that there is this disjoint uv neighborhood of x and b that is disjoint so a is closed given we do this for all a so we get a open cover of A. We use the fact that A is compact because you are a closed subset of X, which is compact, right? So we get a finite subcover. Then we let U be these sets and V be these sets. And they are the desired open sets, right? Because each U, those covers A and each of the V's they contains each of the V's they contains B so does their intersection right so we're done <laughs>